Now, here's the biggest game of the week as a Saints fan. Now, I'm hyped as a Saints fan, but it's scary. Okay, no Drew, which I'm not hyped about. I miss Drew so much. Drew, get better in three or four weeks. I pray for you. But, as a Saints fan, it'll be fun to see if Taysom is actually the future at quarterback. Uh, as you know, let's go over the injury report for the Saints real quick because there were a lot of injuries coming after the 49ers that I don't know about any other Saints fans that I was really worried about. I knew the Drew injury was going to be bad. I didn't realize it was going to, I thought one or two weeks, but I didn't realize three or four. I'm hoping he comes back for the Chiefs game because we're going to desperately need him in that matchup. But let's go over the other uh, injuries that have happened against the 49ers now. I know a lot of us were worried about Traquan Smith when he suffered that big hit that was likely a concussion in the 49ers game. It seemed like he, he was wobbly. It, just, it looked scary. But Traquan Smith will be playing in this football game, which is going to be good. It gives uh, Taysom Hill as many tar weapons to work with as possible. Now, Josh Hill, our second-string tight end, although he's also a very big, important player to our offense, Will not be playing in this game. He was out for the concussion last week, and I guess he's still suffering that con from that concussion this week. So Josh Hill will not be playing in this football game. Now, Teron Armstead definitely looks better and should be playing in this football game. I so we'll have our entire offensive line back on track to play again. So now back to to the defense. There were some key players that got injured on Sunday that I was worried would not be able to see the field again this Sunday. But luckily for us, they are back and they are fully healthy. For instance, uh, many people know that Sheldon Rankins will not be coming back until next week at the very earliest because he went on IR with MCL sprain. He's a fantastic defensive tackle. Now, Malcolm Brown last week, an underrated defensive tackle for the Saints, got injured, and it looked like it was going to be questionable whether he was going to play this week. He will play this week with, uh, with Onyemata as well well as Tuttle and Roach, which is why I was worried about the Malcolm Brown injury because you take out Malcolm Brown, the rotation's not as deep, and you suddenly only have David Onyemata and Shai Tuttle out on the same field, and you have to switch out Malcolm Roach every now and then instead of having four guys you can switch out constantly. <sighs> Another injury I was worried about coming into this game was Chauncey. Now, Chauncey Gardner-Johnson had a phenomenal breakout game against the 49ers, but he got hurt, and I was worried. It definitely seems like he will play this week, though. And then for the final injury that actually matters is Marshawn Lattimore. He's questionable heading into this game. I feel like he will play, but uh, he probably will not be at full strength, which is worrisome when we're matching up him with Julio Jones. But now that we've gone over the injury report, I am hyped to see Jane, to see Taysom Hill. I was going to say James Winston because James Winston is the guy I was for, expecting to see all week, but Taysom Hill at the last minute was announced the start. I think it happened on Friday. I was very stunned and shocked, but Taysom Hill's the guy, and I guess we're going to see how Taysom Hill does moving forward. Now, the Saints have been pretty good with backup quarterbacks. We saw it last year with Teddy Bridgewater, which is why I think we went with Taysom instead of uh, James Winston. No offense to James Winston, but he has not been in the system as long as Taysom has. And Teddy Bridgewater had, had like, I think, two years to acclimate to the system, so that's why we started him. Now, Taysom, I'm going to be excited to see if this Baltimore kind of offense works well with Taysom Hill. I'm excited to see it. I think Kamara is going to have a huge game because he's going to rely on him. And I think, from what I saw, Deontay Harris, because I, I think Michael Thomas is going to have a big game, but I feel like Deontay Harris, and put this as my wild predictions, I think Deontay Harris will be the second like, receiver, like second amount of yards for receiving. Not It's not going to be Emmanuel Sanders. It's not going to be uh, Traquan or Marquez Callaway. It's going to be Deontay Harris. Definitely seems like that is going to be the guy to go to. Now, the Saints have had great success with working with backup quarterbacks to win 5-0 with Teddy Bridgewater last year, but they've also had trouble with the Falcons losing at least once almost every single year, and most of the time in New Orleans. This game's in New Orleans, which gives me pause, and which is why I'm perfect on Saints games, by the way, for this year. Taysom's going to have a rough, rough first game. They're going to have to put in Jameis. Jameis gets them back in it, but not enough to win. I think the Falcons end up winning this game. And I hope my streak of correct Saints games will be broken, but I don't know if it will.